Hey guys, just want to do a quick video for Doc Tack Dad's 1000 subs contest. He's given away a shotgun, and honestly, how could I pass that up? Uh, so in order to get into the contest, i got to answer a few questions for you. First off, uh, why do I want the shotgun? The real question is, why wouldn't I want the shotgun? But to be honest, it's basically, I've never shot a shotgun before. Um, I've been into shooting for about two years now, mostly handguns, a few rifles here and there. Um, and I shot rifles as a kid, but I have never shot a shotgun, so that is an experience that um, you just I, I just have to do. Uh, that pretty much explains why I want it. Um, my philosophy of use for the shotgun, um, basically it would just be for learning. I, I want to learn to shoot a shotgun, and uh, down the road it could be used as a, you know, a versatile survival gun. Um, so I'm going to give a few shout-outs now. First off is ProtoPlayer9217. And uh, I'm giving him a shout out because he did a 125 sub contest just recently, and I won this sweet little three blade Winchester knife from him that really reminds me of the first knife I ever had as a kid. Um, and I lost that knife years ago, so it's really cool. Um, also, his channel is based around reviewing of gear and guns, and it's from the perspective of someone who's new to it, which I am, so that fits. Uh, my second shout out, I want to talk about a guy named Nighthawk in Light. And I know him in person, and uh, his channel's really cool. He uh, builds custom fireworks, and um, it's just really cool. He shows different ways that he builds fireworks, and then he shows the firework as he's lighting it off. Um, and these are these aren't your normal consumer grade fireworks. I mean, these are these are like professional level mortars and really cool stuff. Uh, also, he does some trapping, and he does some stuff with his guitar. Um, so it's a very interesting channel. Uh, next up is a guy named EasyG1409, and he's got a series of videos that he calls Brain Rotting. And in these videos, he is adventure touring on a motorcycle through North, Central, and South America. And this guy is riding his motorcycle through terrain that we can't even imagine riding a motorcycle through. Um, I just find that really cool. Uh, so then, the last thing I want to talk about, the last section of my video... I just want to talk about a couple of drills that I really love to do when I go to the indoor shooting range. Uh, normally at the indoor shooting range, they won't let you draw from a holster. So to make it a little bit more exciting, what I like to do is I put three magazines with rounds in them. One in the gun, two rounds, and then two on my hip, two rounds. Um, and I set my gun down on the bench, and then I pick it up, bring it on target, and bang, bang, reload bang, bang, reload, bang, bang. And I think that just adds a level of stress to shooting. Um, makes it a little bit harder to hit your target. you got to try to get on target quick and try to aim fast. And I just really like that. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's very entertaining for me. And then the other thing that I really love to do while I'm there is they sell these shoot and see targets that come with all of these little black dots. And when you hit them, they light up you know, bright yellow. So I like to make a smiley face on my silhouette target and then try to shoot off each individual dot from about 25 feet. And it's a real challenge, but it's really fun. And actually, people on other lanes get quite a kick out of it. You can see them chuckling down there that I've got a smiley face on my silhouette target. Um, but anyway, those are the things I like to do at the range. I think they're entertaining, they're fun, and I, I think they help build skills. Um, and so I guess that's going to be it for today. But again, I just want to thank... Doc Tech Dad for putting on this contest, and I can't wait to see what else you're going to do to that shotgun. I already watched the episode where you cut down the barrel, and it looks really sweet with that short barrel on it. Uh, I can't wait to see what that camo pattern is going to look like. Anyway, thanks for putting on the contest. I'm out.